So these are pallet racks. Pallet racks are large warehouse shelving components that you may have seen in IKEA, Home Depot, Costco, large big box stores in America. But they're also just incredibly ubiquitous. Like almost every warehouse on the planet is filled with pallet racks. What I discovered was that compared with supporting pallets of dog food and water, bottles of water and concrete blocks, that supporting people is actually remarkably easy. And so I got into setting up sort of large pallet rack buildings uh, that would sort of form community centers. So this is Jaga. It's a, a large community center, art space, technology space, hacker space, event center in Bangalore. And it's, as you can see, it's about four stories tall. It's about 7,000 square feet. It has a cafe. It has a space for co-working. And it has a large auditorium where we conduct events like, like TEDx. So it's, there's something kind of amazing about what we're able to do with these structures. The, the land that we move into was a, a, basically a dump when we got there. It, an unused piece of land in the middle of the city just sort of collects garbage over time, which then attracts rats, and it, it really becomes this big sort of nuisance to the community. And that, you know, as we come in and we build this giant structure, that all of a sudden it brings a lot of vitality to the community. We're having events, people are hanging out. It's, it's, it becomes a real social positive. Um, and it's also relatively low and expensive because we, we don't own the land. So if any of you have thought about setting up a community center but didn't think that you could afford it, you know, you might think about whether or not a pallet rack supported building might be a way of sort of giving you sort of a, a large semi-temporary space in your community. I've been doing this for a little while. Uh, this is my sixth building. Uh, this was the, the previous one also in Bangalore. I did two in Los Angeles and then also set up two large installations at Burning Man. One of the aspects of these buildings is also that when we move out of a space, we leave the space in sort of as good or better condition than it was when we got there. And this is impressive is we're we're living large. You know, we have tens of people working there every day. We have hundreds of people who come to our events. And then, you know, after years of this, when we move out, you could farm on the land that we were hanging out on. So, you know, as we think about cities and sort of massive growth, this, this idea that people can live on the land in density and leave the land in a, a very healthy state is a really sort of powerful concept to think about. So I've been doing it for a while and I've started thinking about what large problems pallet racks could be useful for. I've been in India for about seven years and India has some interesting kind of scary statistics about sort of what's happening with the growth of cities there. The expectations are that in the next 18 years over 250 million people are going to be moving into the cities. Uh, and the, the cities just really aren't set up to, to deal with this kind of influx. And it means that a large percentage of the people coming in are going to be moving into the slums. And that while slums can be extremely vital communities, there's a very entrepreneurial spirit in them often, they also tend to be extremely crowded they tend to lack sort of core services, and they tend to have sort of a, an essence of sort of insecurity since the residents don't have title to their land it, and don't know how long they, they'll necessarily be allowed to stay there. There's no real incentive to invest in their, in their homes and their, their properties, which sort of propagates sort of the, the sort of miserable conditions a lot of times. So I've been looking at, you know, what do pallet racks have to offer this situation? And so for one, they're relatively low cost. On about 400 square feet of space, you can build a 1,500 square foot pallet rack supported building for about $5,000. 
And then because the pallet racks are, are load bearing, they can support a bunch of other sort of infrastructure components like, like solar panels, composting toilets, rooftop gardens, uh, water harvesting systems. And then another component is that because they're inherently temporary, they can be used to set up sort of a legitimate relationship between the residents and the owners of the land, where the, the owners can feel comfortable that the people will be moving out and that the people can invest in their, in their homes and know that this is an asset that they'll be able to take with them as they move on to their next place. So as my, my first step sort of towards doing this next thing, I've set up a, a large or a simple competition to try to gather design and architecture ideas for what a large scale pallet rack uh, installation could look like. And so that's it. Thank you very much.